Hello, beautiful people. I am super excited because I am back, baby. Okay, I know that I have been gone for a while, to say the least, but there has been so much that has happened in my life and I really felt that I just needed to take a step back, really focus on like just getting myself together because let me tell you, this update video is going to be full of information for you guys. It's gonna be interesting. So I know that I was kind of MIA. I like just dropped off the face of the earth, disappeared on you guys and you're like, where did you go? What is going on with her? Um, if you are still subscribed, thank you very much. If you're new, welcome. In this video, I am going to be catching you all up on my life, which has been very eventful. Uh, some good, some bad, but be the beauty of life. Okay, let's get started with the question. Where have I been and what have I been up to? Okay, so first, I had to take a step back and take a breather. I definitely hit burnout at the beginning of the year. Um, I hit burnout personally, with business, um, physically. My body was like, we are done, tapped out. It was kind of crazy um, because, so when I deal with things emotionally, those emotions tend to make their appearance physically or um, like in relation to my health. I, and I think because of my previous health issues and things that I've gone through and overcome in the past, I'm just more sensitive to it. So when all of this was transpiring in January and February, this, something I will get into a little bit later on, um, I just realized that I really had to kind of tap out, take a pause, not tap out. Tap out is more like you totally give up, right? And like wrestling, like you tap, you say you're done. So not tap out, but um, I just had to, I had to take a step back and I had to really focus and hone in on healing, healing my heart and like healing my body. It was crazy, guys. <laughs> So I'll get into it and share with you what all kind of happened. The first thing, I was really burnt out when it came to content creation and getting my business together. Complete and total transparency. When it comes to business, I tend to get in my own way. Um, I tend to just really battle with things on a mental level. Um, and sometimes I way overthink. Now, in some situations, overthinking is good because it allows for me to prepare for certain things and put contingencies in place, and it's great. And then in other things, especially when you're starting a business and doing something new, um, whatever it is, there are a lot of unknowns and a lot of things that you're just going to learn along the way. And that is where, that's my pitfall. I tend to kind of overthink and then I tend not to take action. And so uh, at the beginning of the year, I just honestly got in my own way. I was doing really well. I was making videos. I was editing them. It was doing great. I was planning on writing an ebook and I was like, this is great. And then I hit one of those little pitfalls, fell in and I just realized it was all very overwhelming to me and I had to kind of sort it out. Um, and then on top of that, I had some things personally happen to myself and with my family, and it was just emotionally so much. Um, and here's the thing, life happens and we have to deal with it, right? We just, you have to deal with the things that life throws at you, period. Everybody does. And everybody is given a different hand of cards. Card? Yeah, hand of cards. Um, and you just have to play your best hand and do what you can with it. And unfortunately, for me at that time, there were things, there were people and that were very near and dear to me. Um, and I just realized that those relationships were done. Um, and I am, I'm a very sensitive person, I've come to realize. And it was just really hard for me, really hard for me. And because of that, the process of like really letting those people go and 
adjusting to how things were going to be different. Some people were related to me, some people were not, and there's there's a difference, right? And with that, those that were related to me, I had to realize that like our relationship is going to be different. And there were things within that relationship that I can control, which only have to do with me. And all the other things I couldn't control. And I really had to process and accept that. That part was challenging um, because it's not ideally what I want or what I like it was just honestly opposite of what I want and what I desire. And it was like, oh, I really have to accept this other option because that's what this other person has chosen, you know? And that part, it just hurt my heart so bad. I mean, when I tell you guys I was grieving for those relationships, it was, I was a mess. I was such a hot mess. <laughs> As a result, <laughs> I realized I had to really focus on my health and well-being. Um, if you've ever been through any type of grief, you know that it affects it affects different people in different ways. And as I mentioned earlier, when it comes to things emotionally, spiritually, um, I tend to my body tends to really um, display those things, and it's really hard. So sometimes it's with my skin and it's very visible um which is actually really difficult for me because I'm, it's not pretty and then it's a hot mess up here but sometimes it's with my skin sometimes it's like i notice that um my allergies will flare up or that i'll have more trouble breathing and i have more asthma attacks um, and i think it's my i know i don't just think i know that it's my body processing all of these emotions and being able to release them and then the other way, which is so sad, is that I my digestive tract tends to get completely out of whack. So like I end up having intolerances to things that I'm not actually allergic to. It's just I have more issues in my gut. But once I go through the process and things have calmed down, then it's back to normal. Well, back to my normal because, you know, most people aren't allergic to as many things as I am. But it's a process. <laughs> So I was dealing with all of that. Then life threw this crazy plot twist, um, which is good. You know, sometimes you just got to pray on it and go with it, right? So in February, our landlord said, hey, guys, by the way, I'm selling the house. So you have 60 days to move, which was so interesting when my brother told me because I just remember being very calm about that. And normally that is something that would freak me out. Um, if I make the change, I'm okay with that. But having to like pack up my life and make do a complete 180 or 360 or figure things out in such a short period of time um, is not my cup of tea, unless it's something that like I'm willing to do. And I think we're all like that, right? If we initiate it, we're okay with it. But if someone else comes in and has control or has an effect impact on our life that we don't necessarily agree with it's hard and we have to deal with that um but as a result i moved to florida i moved to florida so last year in 2021 i think september i had told you guys one of the things that i wanted to do was move to florida um, and that i really felt that way in july when I came down for a visit and after I realized I was not going to be able to go to Vietnam. And so what I ended up doing was uh, once I found out about that and I just kind of I slept on it and I prayed about it, I realized, hey, Florida is back on the table. There were some things between July. <laughs> there were a lot of things between July and um, like December that had happened and had really kept me in Colorado. And this was, I believe, God saying, okay, this is your time. You need to move. And I just, I was like, okay, it's back on the table. Let me put things in order and make this happen. And so I had to really focus a lot of my energy on that. So focusing on getting healthy and, you know, still going through the grieving process and then also um, getting my life together, packing up my life in Colorado and moving here to Florida. Um, thankfully, I didn't really have a whole lot of stuff and a lot of things that I had to change and move because 
you know, when I came back from Vietnam, I had like a suitcase because of the pandemic. So what I had accumulated was actually pretty small. God's so great. So I moved to Florida, as I mentioned before, and I chose to move here, which I don't know if I addressed in my other video, but I'll address it here now. I chose Florida because every time I have been down here, I have felt this incredible sense of peace. Um, I just, it it's been wonderful. Um, and so with the whole not being able to go to Vietnam and the door just closing, I mean, it was one thing after another. And I, when I came last July, and again, there was just this sense of peace. I'm like, I need to move here. I knew in July I had to make a decision and I got on the plane to go back to Colorado and it was while I was on the plane I realized like that's when I realized I had to make a decision because I couldn't continue to put my life on hold um, in hopes that like the Vietnamese government would allow me to come in and you know they would I could go to Vietnam but it was there were so many hurdles and it was like no I'm not doing that. Like it should not be this hard to go to a country and to contribute. Um, and not only that, I also had to deal with things here with our government. And I was like, this is too much. Travel should not be this way. Travel is to be enjoyed. Travel is to be challenging in a way that helps us grow and become better. But it was, I really believe it was God just shutting the door. And in that door shutting, he opened the door for me to come here. The next question some of you might be asking is how long am I going to stay in Florida? And I am flexible on the time, but I am planning on staying here for the next few years. So for sure, at least two, but possibly, possibly more. We will see what God has planned. Next, what have I been up to? So I moved here officially in April. That was quite the adventure. My bestie and I had a road trip. And what's crazy is I really don't have any videos of that road trip. It was <laughs> it was a challenge to leave Colorado, which is really interesting in itself. But, and the road trip was adventurous. Uh, there were definitely some, we learned a lot on this road trip. Um, but it was a lot of fun. And I think my best friend and I will be best friends for forever because we survived the road trip. Anyway, um, since I have moved down here, I honestly have just focused on settling in, kind of getting to know the lay of the land, getting my apartment together, um, figuring out what my next moves are. Um, initially, I thought that I would come down here, get a job and just kind of acclimate. Um, and that didn't pan out how I thought. So what I decided to do was go to real estate school. I now have my real estate license. Whoop, whoop, very excited. Um, and I am going to be, um, I'm going to be a realtor down here. And I'm also going to be investing in real estate. So I'm very excited about that. I also acquired my notary commission for the state of Florida. So I'm going to build a notary business as well um, because I realized that there are a lot of important documents that need notarization, but that's not my aha moment. My aha moment was there are a lot of legal documents that people need when like they're kind of at their low, right? Either when they're at their low or they're at their high. So Sometimes it's when they're getting a house, right? They've purchased a house and they need a notary. I'd love to help you and be a part of that moment in your life. That's awesome. And then, uh, then there are other times when maybe I have to sign a power of attorney or a medical power of attorney and help people who are dealing with really hard times and they just need support and love and positivity. And I also want to be a part of their lives in that way. And so I just... Being a notary is something that I think is really cool um, and it's fairly simple. So I'm looking forward to building that business down here as well. 
Oh, and this one, which is my favorite one. I can't believe I almost had like a brain fart and didn't even tell you guys about it because this is literally why I'm like doing all of this stuff digitally, online, everything, um, because I am established, like not establishing, I'm starting um, online education. And it's very vague. I will go into more details in another video, but my goal is to really just educate and empower young people, so youth, so that they can really live the life of their dreams. And honestly, it's not just for youth, like, but you know, I think they can use it the most because if we're going to see a positive change in the world, we can do it, my generation can do it, but we also have to really plant those seeds and give young people the tools and resources so that they feel empowered to make better decisions, so they feel empowered to go out and do things and make this world a better place. And I'm so excited because instead of me just talking about it and wishing and hoping, I have, I'm putting things together and you guys are gonna go on that journey with me. It's check out Work With Me Wednesdays because that is where it's going to be as I create and produce all of these things, these tools and resources for young people. Oh, I am so excited because, oh, it's a game changer, guys. I'm, oh, it's about to be fire. It's, it's gonna be so good. Okay, so what's next? Um, next is me really building my businesses. And hopefully, I mean, hopefully you guys like it. I'm going to do my best to capture it on video because I want to have record of that. Like when I look back in two years, in five years, in 10 years, I want to see like, hey, this is what it was like at the beginning. And I also want it to be valuable to you guys. So hopefully it creates it sparks inspiration for you all. So I'm so excited about that. Um, I'm also going to focus on creating more content. I know I've been MIA, bear with me, but I am going to be creating more content for you guys. I plan on making the content fun, stuff that's really useful, stuff that adds value. Um, that's my goal. Uh, you can start expecting content for sure on Tuesdays. Every Tuesday, there will be a video uploaded and I will also be doing videos on Wednesdays, but give the Wednesday videos a little bit of time. I am currently in prep mode with those. And let me tell you, recording, editing, and uploading videos, all that jazz takes a bit of time. <laughs> Finally, I am going to hone in and focus on accomplishing my 2022 goals that I feel kind of have been delayed. <laughs> this season that I've been has been so interesting, um, but they've, I, I guess delayed is the best word for it because it's not like, or maybe postponed, set to a later date. I mean, yeah, yes, they've just been, they've been put on the shelf for a little bit. I've had to focus on other things. And now that I am where I am and things have been set up and I'm gaining moment momentum, I am very excited because I'm going to continue, I'm gonna refocus on my 2022 goals and make some things happen. So you guys can stay tuned for that and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.